Hello and welcome to another Raggy's Beer Review. So today we're going over to Whitby Brewery, based in Whitby at the top of the hill, facing the Abbey. Fantastic place to go and visit. Big massive tap room, outdoor seating, although this time of year it's a bit chilly for bloody outdoor seating. Uh, unless it's a really nice sunny day with no wind. But it, they've got a big fire inside, massive pizza oven, pizzas in literally minutes. Bloody hell, that pizza oven can churn the pizzas out. Fantastic. Uh, range of cask and keg beer, bottle beer to buy, merch to buy, well worth a visit. Anyway, um, yes, I've been. Uh, and I bought this one there. So this is from, this is Whitby Whaler. It's Amber, Malty and Bitter from the Quaffable Creations. There we go, there's the beer. Um, and uh, just to put the over it. A tasty Yorkshire bitter, amber in colour with a balanced traditional taste. On the eye, amber. On the nose, toffee and fruity and sweet, smooth citrus on the taste. So, quite the bag there. Um, oh, here we go, let's pop it open. Oh, bit of smoke there, look at that, smoky. Um, and into the glass. My twonk, I've actually got a Whitby Brewery glass behind me. I didn't use it. Oh, well, salt from Yorkshire, so it's all good. Um, typical raggy pour there. And, uh, wow, look at the carbonation on that. Really, really powerful carbonation. Uh, that's a blooming live. Look at that. And if anything, the head's getting bigger. And still, um, powerful carbonation there. Slightly begs the question, does it need to be some part of the process? Don't ask me which, I ain't got a clue. Um, you know, for it to be that powerful, does something, does, does it need to be a slight change? Because um, it's, it's brand new, you know, it's... I only picked it up about a month ago. It was only there about a month ago. Look at the head. The head's, <laughs> the head's going again. I don't think it was a crap baggy pour this time. I think it was the beer's lively. Um, so, you see Amber, definitely. Toffee, fruity nose. That's, the nose is better now. Initially, there was, a, there was just a slight off note on the nose. And I was like, ooh, this isn't going to turn out well. But it, it disappeared. And maybe that's a sign of bottling. I don't know, you know. Sometimes, and I have had this many, many times with bottles, with beers. Um, although sometimes a bit more brutal. But uh, <laughs> don't watch my re one of my recent Duval, Duval trip out with you. Yeah, because uh, I was... I was evil to that beer, but it, I could smell dog piss or cat piss. Yeah, it just smelled disgusting. It redeemed itself right at the end. But, uh, and again, slight hint of toffee. I'm not getting no fruity at the moment, but that might be because the head's about four inches down. Yeah, definitely citrusy taste. So interesting that it's toffee, toffee and fruity nose with us, you know, if you actually get the fruit. I didn't get the fruit, but that's, you know, is what it is. But the nut that the taste is citrusy, which is not either, which is not toffee. So bonkers, isn't it? That's beer for you. Oh. Ooh. So yeah, we enjoyed our trip to Whitby. Um, it was a bloody windy day though. Parked at the top round the corner from Whitby Brewery. 
Uh, I went for a few hours parking. I assume there's better places to park. I assume if you park over, over the other side, away from the brewery, away from the, away from the brewery and away from the abbey, in the more residential side, you'll get free parking. Um, you park in the touristy side, you pay for it. You know, it's standard, standard council thing to generate money, you know, for the council. Uh, and I get that. I do get it. I don't like paying, but I do get it. Um, and you do wonder sometimes if a longer stay for your money means, and we would have done this, had we been able to stay longer, we would have ventured further, spent more money in the town uh, of Whitby. So, you know, in some ways, councils, through their own greed, maybe, or to balance the books, are actually doing themselves no favours. Because people, they'll look at the parking, they think, well, I'll, I'll, I'll have two hours, if it's that price. Go and do what I need to do. Probably not get anywhere near what I would have liked to have done. I didn't. And think, right, that's my two hours, better go. And, uh, you know, you're on a clock. Uh, you don't want to get a ticket, which you don't. You know, it's simple as that. So, yeah. Um, in hindsight. <sighs> oh. But in any case, um, very enjoyable beer. Going down a treat. Oh, loads more in as well. Let me uh, tip it so it doesn't create an ad, he says. So I poured it down the side of the glass to not try and create any head on this. Uh, but look, look at the carbonation there. Wow. That is ridiculous carbonation. Uh, can you see that? <laughs> yeah. Um, give it a minute. The head will be above the top again. Uh, so Whitby Whaler. Uh, first ever time drinking it. It was a nice enough beer, got to be honest. Um... The bitter element, I didn't really get the bitter side of it. It was toffee, citrusy, not too bitter at all, really. Uh, but it was pleasant enough to drink, and uh, look at that ad. Um, yeah. Would I drink it again? Uh, for me, it's one of those beers that, you know, you have once and you move on. You know, it's as simple as that. Um, so, you know... And, and I've said, I say this on most beer reviews, 99.9% .9 of beers, I'd only have once, because I've done the beer, I move on. Uh, I try not to session on any beer, unless it's something I brewed myself, which I brewed for, you know, uh, quite a nice price, shall we say. Um, uh, you know, and this is where home brewing, I, I've always been a home brewer, so uh, before I started doing drinking real ales before I started drinking um, going to pubs and drinking real ales and certainly before way before I did beer reviews so homebrew is is my where I'm based at you know uh, out of five for me a good 4.0 out of five but uh, yeah decent pour from Whitby Brewery cheers albeit lively <laughs>